What's up everybody, I'm Raph the Human and this is Petunia, the Plains Hognose Snake. Petunia just popped out of most of her old skin, but uh, as we can see, she's hanging on to a little bit of it. And this was just today, she may be able to get out of it herself, but we're gonna help her out today, soak her in a little bit of water, see if she can't get it off herself. If not, we'll help her out. But while we're at it, I have some snakes that are different stages in their growth and whatnot, and even an adult snake, I never weighed upon intake, so why not check the weight of all our snakes as well. Okay, we gotta make sure we salt the water. And then we are going to boil our hognose snake for about 10 minutes for al dente perfection. And I love boiling denim and bang. No, I'm just kidding guys, about a uh, low 80s, right? This is about 83 degree water and she's gonna get salty with us but because dad can't find a lid. There we go, okay, close her up. And let's go weigh some snakes in the meantime. And the first snake to the scales. Ruby, our beautiful, our big beautiful Solomon Island ground boa, who about a week and a half ago weighed 1,342 grams. And she's the only snake whose weight I'm at least semi-concerned about. She hasn't eaten in about three months. So we just want to keep an eye on that weight and make sure she's not losing a ton like uh, something's going wrong with her. And if it is, we will address it. But uh, let's see, let's see if you weigh about the same, right? Yeah, it looks like she lost about 12 grams in just a week and a half, guys. Oh, okay, 8 grams, 8 grams. But uh, that's kind of a lot, especially considering, I don't know if she went to the bathroom in this time. So Ruby, our, uh, our only decent exotic vet, is like hours away from here. So you might be going on a road trip soon, my darling. So right there, guys, is exactly the reason we're doing these weight checkups. Like I said, she's the only one uh, that was concerning me a bit, but uh, it'll be good to get numbers on, it'll be it'll be good to get numbers on everyone else too. I will say this, I am going to, it's been a couple of weeks since we offered her food. So uh, we're gonna try again, cause maybe now she's just uh, ready to eat, who knows? Like I said, three months is really not crazy for a bow to be off food, but I do believe she's quite old. So it could be a sign of things just starting to go wrong. And we will keep you guys posted on Miss Ruby here. Okay, next up we have Trips, our banana kingpin black pastel ball python, who uh, we thought was a boy, but Trips is actually a young lady. And it looks like Trips just shed her skin as well. Makes you think, maybe since they found out that all six of them are women, their cycles are starting to uh, synchronize. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? My snakes are synchronizing their cycles, but that's okay. Okay, Trips, so what do you weigh? Because you're gonna get a lot heavier than we thought you were gonna get. Huh? What do we got? 856! You know, if, if she was a boy, she would have been ready to breed Billy by now, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. And next up, Trips' ex-girlfriend, now adopted sister, Billy, our beautiful blue-eyed leucistic ball python. Billy was the first snake here at Red Ribbon Reptiles, and she used to fit right in the palm of my hand, but not anymore. She's definitely eaten some big rats since then. So, Billy, let's, let's take a peek. 1,400. 1,400 grams on the button. Maybe she was 13-something last time? She definitely hasn't been losing weight. She's been eating... She looks great. She must have been something like 1,300. Now she's 1,400, so she's uh, she's getting pretty big. I guess she wouldn't have been ready to breed anyway, if even if Trips was uh, up to weight. So you make me feel not quite a, as bad about it this year, huh? But our hognose snake is still marinating. We got two more snakes to knock out before we get back to her and peel off her little eye skins. Next up is Stevie, our beautiful little red corn snake. Very much a sub-adult. She's a bit bigger than a juvenile now these days, but obviously not really close to full size yet. And she's just beautiful. She used to wrap around my little finger there and uh, be like a little a little noodle. But now she's now she's a strong, independent woman. We're gonna see what you weigh, because I think last time we weighed you, you were like, I don't know, like 40 grams or something like that. So here we go. Do 
312. Damn, boy, she ate. 312 grams. Beautiful little snake. Beautiful little corn snake. And I love her. And, uh, you know, some people say corn snakes are played out, but, I mean, they're just, they're they're so fantastic. And they're easy to keep. And corn snake, go get a corn snake. It's, it's calm. Dude, look at it thing. But when I tried it with butter, everything changed. Oh, she smells so bad. Oh, she smells like sh one of a kind species of snake. This is the uh, the skunk snake because <laughs> she must have smeared herself through some poop. And she eats a lot of birds here because they're reptile eaters in the wild. And she's just a maniac too. She might, sh sorry kids, poop all over me. And uh, I hope she doesn't. But it's okay. I mean, you know, bodily functions do happen. Theodora, our Stuart's milk snake. Okay, we got her as an adult. And uh, she wasn't super socialized or anything like that. So that's why you see she's uh, tying herself in knots. Trying to, you know, not attack me, but get away from me. Yeah, it seems whenever you feed a snake birds, it, it's nice and healthy for them. Like lower fat and things like that. But, ooh, 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 ooh. bad. <laughs> All right, Theodora, we've never weighed you. You big. You're a big lady, no, disres no disrespect, all right? So uh, get in the bucket. <laughs> Just be quiet. Just get in the bucket, please. Head in. There you go. Just real quick. Just real quick. Okay, I saw an 822. <laughs> 820. We'll take 820 grams for Miss Theodora, the beautiful Stewart's milk snake. Whoever said milk snakes are like mean, like king snakes in general, are, are mean, bitey things, guys. Uh, you know, she a little, she doesn't like. She's a little head shy, maybe. But like, look, if she wanted to bite me, she has every uh, opportunity to do so. She doesn't want to do it. She just wants to eat food and be left alone to uh, mud wrestle herself and her own fecal matter. So. That's what we're gonna let you do, Theodora. But I do, uh, I sense a deep dive on Stuart's milk snakes in my future. Cause I don't have a ton of experience with king snakes, but I mean, this thing is a sweetheart for the fact that she wasn't handled all the time and she was already a full grown adult. When we got to her and we liked to bug her a lot. I mean, you know, like doing things like this. She's like, hey, let me just sit in my poop, huh? I like to just poop eight times a week and sit in it. So when this is all said and done, I think Theodora is going to get a bath just like her sister Petunia. But that'll do it for now. All right, let's go. Let's go get our marinating, our marinating hognose snake. <laughs> so we have our hognose snake sous vide. Sous vide? How do you pronounce that? The, the French, bro. What's up, girl? What's up? All right, Petunia, beautiful little snake. Let's dry you off a little bit. And maybe you know a little bit about Plains hognose snakes and you're saying, hey, I've seen some in the wild or something in the uh, Great Plains region of the United States. And I'm pretty sure those things are white and brown. Well, Petunia is albino and azanthic. So she lacks melanin and then, gosh dang it, whatever the yellow one's called. She's missing that too, okay? So she is a pink and white hognose snake. Beautiful snake. So she's got her little sock hat on, you know, little sock head, double D from Ed and Eddie. If you get it, you're, you know, if you know, you know. And uh, we should be able to just slide this off pretty gently. I'm thinking. It looks like it's all coming. Oh, yeah. We got the eye cap off. Let's see that. <whistles> Snazzy Petunia looking good. Now let's try to get this side. Yeah, it looks like the eye cap is still on on this side too. I didn't really investigate too much her in her enclosure to see if she left one behind. Oh, there we go. Look at those beautiful eyes and that pink little face. <laughs> I think Petunia is a little salty about being in the water. She really, she really dislikes it. I don't know. She's always hated it. Every time I had to give her a bath, which was a lot at first. Uh, if you remember, check out this video right here or wherever it is up top there. But Petunia is the best. She's just a tiny little snake with a lot of attitude, a lot of personality to her. And I think a lot of this comes from poor eyesight. So some, you know, it's like a, it's a crapshoot. You open that cage door. You don't know what's gonna happen, right? She might hood up, she might puff, she might yell, she might uh, do nothing and be fine. So this was very simple today, Petunia. So we're gonna put you through one more 
test, okay? We're gonna weigh you again. Petunia was very light when I first got her, and she put on a lot of weight on the feeding schedule we had her on, you know, every five to seven days. But I, you know, she looks like and, and feels like maybe she did lose a little bit of weight, but she's been eating fine. So I'm really not worried about you, but we're gonna, we're gonna take a look and see what you weigh. Not a single kilogram does she weigh. Let's see. She's sitting at 220. So I think Petunia lost some weight too. I mean, this could have just been a, a up and down thing where she was kind of on the lighter side and then went up in weight when we were feeding her regularly and then she kind of acclimated to that. But she's another one that poops like a couple times a week. So she's, you know, the food is constantly processing. I have been feeding her weekly though lately. So maybe she'll get fed every five days to uh, just see if she puts a little bit of bulk on healthfully. I mean, her body condition looks it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, maybe a little lean, so we'll get her we'll get her eating every five days again. But guys, I think weighing your animals is it's pretty important to see their weight, but it's really important to mind the body condition. Like I said, it doesn't look like Petunia starving, so I'm not as worried as as I might just be if I just saw like numbers on a spreadsheet, for example. But weighing your animals is a great way to kind of monitor the health. Like I mean, it's it's really hard for us to understand just by looking at a reptile, like how sick they are and stuff, because they can hide things really well. But whether it's in different stages of development and growth, or a situation like Ruby, who I think might be having an issue and losing this weight, it's a good idea to check your animal's weight, guys, because you can see dips, you can see crashes you can see if you're overfeeding maybe and like this animal keeps gaining weight so pick yourself up a little scale and see how much spagoot you got if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel it means a whole lot petunia petunia is like hey look at me all right just click the button huh? but that's enough out of me and petunia once again guys i'm raf the human this is Petunia, the Plains Hognose Snake. You've been watching Red Ribbon Reptiles. We're so glad that you did. And we'll see you next time.